tonight, the mother of the island's latest homicide victim holds nothing back. The victim of a castry shooting opens up about his ordeal, and the Ministry of Health records 30 new confirmed cases of COVID-19. All this and more coming up in tonight's broadcast. This is the Hot 7 Nightly News with Lovely and Amy Bruce. Good evening. It is Monday the 15th of February 2021. Welcome to the Hot 7 TV Nightly News. I'm Rochelle Gonzalez standing in for lovely St. Amy Joseph. Thank you for joining us. As the island records this sixth homicide for the year 2021, one close relative of the deceased is going a different route from the normal bereavement tone and is saying that her loved one was no angel. Agnes Danzi said it is difficult to put a finger on who killed her estranged son or why because he had many enemies. More in this report. In a twist from the norm, the mother of 34-year-old Emroy Danzi, who was killed in Anslery on Saturday night, is shedding no tears of sorrow for her son, with whom she had an estranged relationship. Agnes Danzi did not hold back as she spoke about her son's behavior and attitude, saying he was no angel. She gave Hot 7 TV her account of what happened on the night when her son was killed. After the curfew, mm -hmm. I sit by my door, and he come from at the corner of the road there, and he come and sit down there. And he said, sit down there for a while. I sit down by my door. And a while I wake up, after I wake up, I heard this talk to somebody, but I didn't look. I don't know who. And as I go to lie down, I just hear, whoa. I look out, I didn't see him. And I saw a crowd of people running. When they come to jump to the gutter, I myself come up to the bridge and I tell Ain't nobody, don't touch him. And that's all. Danzi was asked whether she had any idea who might be responsible for her son's death and why anyone would want to harm him. Responding to this, she revealed that the possibilities are plentiful. He has problems with everybody, everybody and everybody. I didn't have a relation with him. He's in, he's in my house. He, he in his way, I am in my way. Because I know him and he know me, we, we're not talking. You understand? Because the person is a big man. He's 34 years old, he's a big man. I don't have nothing to tell him. He don't have nothing to, if he wants something, I give it to him and that's all. Danzi warned other parents to be careful and mindful of their children. This sort of behavior, she said, should not be. All what is going on, that mustn't happen because in that small community, all that mustn't happen. Because it's love and unity for, the, um, for, the, for us in that community. You understand? That thing that happened there, that shouldn't be happened. Certain things with our family, our friends, our neighbor, that shouldn't be happening. You understand? Because I have children too, I have grandchildren, I have my grandchildren in my house. You understand? That shouldn't be happening. Love and unity. She said her son was not one to shy away from conflict and would always strike back in a feud or altercation. Hinting that she saw this fate coming, Danzi said, quote, nature took its course, end quote. A family of Banans Bay in Castries narrowly escaped a shooting with their lives, though not unscathed, on Saturday night. Out of the family of three, including a nine-month-old infant, two adults were wounded whilst the baby was unhurt. One of the victims said around nine shots were fired at the wooden house whilst he and his family were asleep. He said he woke up when he felt the pain of a bullet that had pierced through his lower leg. He spoke about the incident that he believes might have led to the shooting. The incident that happened there is, is just a man I was trying to help out by telling him the fish pot he's making, the mai is too small. So he should try and do it before fisheries, the authorities see him. And the man feel I shouldn't even tell him that. So it had a little argument. And the same night, the same day that happened, the Friday, the same night, these fellas just come down and fire shots. Now I didn't see who that fire shot. So I can tell you exactly who that fired the shot, who that I fired the shot. But I know they wanted me dead. 
But when you are a good person and you're not doing people nothing, you're not dying just so God have a peace for you. The victim said whilst his assailant might have caused him injury, karma will return the thing. My lady was inside the evening. She get two bullets. I got one. Satan have his people everywhere. God have his people everywhere the same way too. So if you feel somebody's life is rubbish, you have a pass to pay too. Because right by the sea there, I could mention five people that was doing people thing. And when they was here, when they get old, a dog was even better than them. And there's fishermen that was doing other fishermen wickedness. And they end up like a dog right here. Because it's not now, it's not yesterday. It's not day before in Burnham. I'm Burnham from the time on the other side of the road there. And I never, never find myself in problem with no, no, nobody. They teach my engine. The same set of people that teach my engine. They're still my friend. I never have no hard feeling against them. The fisherman said during these trying times, he has put measures in place to look after his family financially as he is the main breadwinner. He said whilst the incident has left him grounded for a short time, he is thankful for life. I'm a man I just heal fast, so probably in a month's time I should be able to go. But all that, I mean, you're losing revenue and all? Yes, because I have my fish box in the water. I cannot go and raise it. I. I mean, if I have somebody else, I could make them raise the fish pot for, for me, but I myself, I cannot stand up on my feet to raise the fish pot because you have to stand up and pull it. So, but I'm alive and well. Praise God for that. During the shooting, which occurred at about 10.45 p.m., the mother sustained two gunshot wounds to the leg whilst her boyfriend was hit in the ankle. In other news, on Monday, February 15th, the Ministry of Health and Wellness received confirmation from the Ezra Long Laboratory of 30 new cases of COVID-19. This is from a batch of 121 tests conducted on samples taken during the period of February 1st to February 13th, 2021. All of the cases are St. Lucian nationals who range from the age of 22 to 83 years. They are from the Castries, Babuno, Ancillary, Mikud, and Groselay districts. These individuals were seen at various respiratory clinics where they were assessed and tested for COVID-19. Arrangements have since been made for placement of all these individuals into isolation. Confirmation was also received of the recovery of 71 individuals, bringing the total number of active cases currently in country to 677. Two of the active cases are in critical care at the respiratory hospital. The new cases now bring the total number of cases diagnosed in country to date to 2,549. Stay with us because still to come, the SLFS gives information on two weekend shootings. The Ministry of Health is all set to conduct a vaccine survey and an Anglican priest talks science and theology.